Who is, in fact, Derek Hanley? What's his skill set? What experience does he have? The best person to ask is obviously the man himself, but Mr Hanley is not responding to requests for comment. The government also won't discuss his appointment and we're as yet unable to find any New Zealand tech leaders who will speak about him on the record. So we asked our reporter Zach Fleming to look at Derek Hanley's achievements. Fantastic. Please welcome the first member of our panel, Mr Derek Handley, Chair and Co-Founder of Snack Media, recently founding CEO at the B Team. Before Snack, he co-founded pioneering mobile media company, The Hyperfactory. Sky Board member, astronaut-in-waiting and virgin voter godfather. Welcome, Derek. We unfortunately aren't having Derek Handley on a panel tonight because he's not answering his phone. Hi, it's Derek here. Sorry I missed your call. Please either send me a text or leave me a message. Thanks. Record your message after the time. And Checkpoint called several CEOs of major New Zealand tech companies today. None were prepared to talk on the record about Derek Handley. So we were forced to find out for ourselves why he was the best candidate for New Zealand's first Chief Technology Officer. That audible CV you heard just before was from the 2014 AGM of Snack Media, a company Mr Hanley founded and was chairman of. More on that coming up, but let's start linearly. The 40-year-old's first company, Fever Pitch, an online betting business, went under in two years. In its final days, it reportedly lost nearly $3 million in six months. He then started mobile marketing company The Hyperfactory with his brother Jeff in 2001. Here's Derek describing Hyperfactory in 2007. Um, the Hyperfactory, uh, we're a global uh, mobile media ideas and execution company. So we work with the best brands and agencies around the world and uh, help them bring their brands to life on mobile. Three years later in 2010, Hyperfactory was sold to US-based Meredith Corp for an undisclosed sum, reportedly at least $10 million, and it was then swallowed up by its new parent, so it's not known how well it did after that. But around that time, Derek Hanley made several top 100 lists, and age 31 was named as 2009 EY New Zealand Young Entrepreneur of the Year. And now back to Snack Media. He founded it in 2011. It's another mobile marketing company and in 2013 it went public, raising $6.5 million from investors. Five years on, it now has a market capitalisation of just $813,000. Here is an investor speaking to Mr Hanley at Snack's 2014 AGM. Uh, as an investor, I uh, like to invest in companies that, uh, where I see the directors putting their own money in. Uh, you've got a lot of shares, but you've sold quite a lot too. Mr Handley acknowledged he'd sold some shares, but denied he was selling out of snack and added... It's not anything to do with a lack of confidence in the business, and it's not anything to do with lack of confidence in Mark. Otherwise I'd be exiting entirely and getting out of here and <laughs> wouldn't be in this seat. Just over a year later, late 2015, he did get out of that seat. He resigned as chairman. Snack, after Fever Pitch, is the second company founded by Derek Handley to lose money after going public. Rewinding a little now, in 2012, Derek Handley helped start the B Team. He'd bought a ticket for a Virgin Galactic space flight and got a meeting with Virgin's founder, Richard Branson, as a result. I'm Richard Branson, and I believe that business has the power to make the world better. But it needs a plan B, one that considers people, the planet, and profit. The B team promotes business sustainability, and Derek Hanley frequently describes himself as a co-founder. He's told numerous journalists in interviews that the idea was mutually created between him and Branson. But a six-year-old now deleted profile of Mr Handley on the B Team website says Mr Handley was brought on board after he simply offered Mr Branson a year of his time for free to work on any idea that Mr Branson needed help turning into a reality. So I got together with my friend Joachim Seitz and some inspirational leaders from around the world and we created the B Team. That promotional video lists the names of the leaders who created the B-Team, and Derek Handley's name isn't included. It's not known why his profile has been deleted from the B-Team's website. His latest project is a venture capitalist firm named ERA, which, similar to the B-Team, invests in companies that have social and financial goals. He told Impact Alpha he wanted ERA to invest in 15 companies by mid-2018, ERA VC's website lists five investments. 
The most recent speech Derek Handley gave was at Tech Week in Auckland in May this year. He spoke for 19 minutes and spent the last five minutes talking about our government. Generally at first, and then this one specifically. After 20 years of successive governments who have barely even paid lip service to embracing, enabling and aspiring to be a digitally led nation, and a digitally led economy and a digitally led society, then last year it appears perhaps that all has changed because both of our major political parties had committed to creating the country's first position of a chief technology officer. He concludes his speech talking about why he believes the CTO position, which he met Claire Curran about 10 weeks earlier and was ultimately offered three months later, is important and what he would do with it. It seems to me at least that there is a very real possibility of a New Zealand Enlightenment ahead where we can bend the world in our direction if we choose to allow our humanity and not just technology to guide us. Thank you. Whereas the new Digital Services Minister Megan Woods isn't even sure if she wants a Chief Technology Officer. For Checkpoint, Zach Fleming.